Arleigh Burke class destroyer USS Ross DDG 71 has entered the Black Sea as per the statement released by US 6th Fleet Ross is conducting maritime security operations and enhancing regional maritime stability combined readiness and naval capability with NATO allies and regional partners commander Dave Coles commanding officer of Ross said in a statement our allies in the Black Sea continue to play a key role in maintaining security in the European theater the crew and I look forward to enhancing our interoperability in a dynamic environment as well as experiencing the rich history and culture in this region viewers may note that according to Montreux Convention signed in 1936 which regulates the transit of naval warships in the Black Sea non Black Sea nations can only send vessels which have displacements of less than 15,000 tons and these ships can stay for a maximum of 21 days USS Ross is well within the limit and the transit is not in violation of Montreux Convention Russian National Defense Management Center said the Black Sea Fleet forces are constantly monitoring the movement of the US Navy's Ross guided missile destroyer that entered the Black Sea on April 14 2019 it further added upon entering the Black Sea the US Navy ship was placed under constant monitoring involving the fleet's coastal surveillance facilities in addition, the Vasily Baikov patrol vessel and the Ivan Kurz reconnaissance ship are directly monitoring the U.S. warship's activities. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why Russia should fear the presence of USS Ross in the Black Sea. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank or aircraft and three days of premium account USS Ross is an Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyer of the US Navy Arleigh Burke class warships were designed as multi-mission destroyers capable of anti-aircraft warfare AAW anti-submarine warfare ASW and anti-surface warfare ASUW the class is named for Admiral Arleigh Burke who was an American destroyer officer in World War II and went to be chief of naval operations US Navy has 66 Arleigh Burke class warships in active service and USS Ross is the 21st destroyer of the class she's named after Medal of Honor recipient Donald K Ross it was built by Ingalls shipbuilding and was commissioned on the 28th of June 1997 USS Ross being an Arleigh Burke class destroyer is among the largest destroyers built in the United States it has an overall length of 509 feet that's 155 meters and a displacement of about 9,200 tons USS Ross is powered by four General Electric LM 2500 30 gas turbines producing 10,000 horsepower that's 75 megawatts that drives two shafts it has a speed of 30 plus knots that's 55 kilometers per hour and a range of 4,400 nautical miles or 8,100 kilometers the Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyers DDGs is the United States Navy's first class of destroyers built around the Aegis combat system the Aegis ballistic missile defense system is a United States Department of Defense missile defense agency program developed to provide missile defense against short to intermediate range ballistic missiles Aegis BMD is designed to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to re-entry it enables USS Ross to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles by expanding the Aegis combat system with the addition of the and spy one radar and standard missile technologies Aegis BMD equipped vessels can transmit their target detection information to other systems and if needed engage potential threats using either the SM2 or SM3 missile 
SM-3 missile having a range of 2,500 kilometers and speed of Mach 10.2 is especially suited for this task. The heart of the Aegis system on board the USS Ross is the ANSPY-1D radar. It's an advanced, automatic detect and track, multifunctional phased array radar. This high-powered 4 megawatt radar is able to perform search, track and missile guidance functions simultaneously with a capability of over 100 targets. A conventional, mechanically rotating radar sees a target when the radar beam strikes that target once during each 360-degree rotation of the antenna. A separate tracking radar is then required to engage each target. By contrast, the computer-controlled ANSPY-1D phased array radar of the Aegis system brings these functions together within one system. The phased array can concentrate energy where it's needed. The operator can boost the range and resolution in a particular direction without blinding the ship to threats from another side. The four fixed arrays of SPY send out beams of electromagnetic energy in all directions simultaneously, continuously providing a search and tracking capability for hundreds of targets at the same time. USS Ross is very well equipped and is designed to be a multi-weapons platform. It has in total 90-cell Mark 41 vertical launch system VLS, divided into two blocks of 29 and 61 cells. These can be configured with the combination of the following weapons based on the mission. 1. BGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missile for land attack. 2. RIM-66 Standard Missile 2. SM-2 surface to air missile for air defense 3 RIM-161 standard missile 3 SM-3 for Aegis ballistic missile defense 4 RUM-139 VL ASROC missile for anti-submarine role It also has two Mark-141 harpoon missile launcher for anti-ship role Two Mark-32 triple torpedo tubes are present launching Mark-46 or Mark-50 torpedoes Two MH-60R Seahawk Lamps-3 helicopters are also present for anti-submarine warfare. Other than these, it's equipped with a long-range 5-inch naval gun. There are multiple short-range weapon systems too, which include the Phalanx CIWS and M242 Bushmaster cannon. USS Ross is a deadly adversary for any rival, including the Russian fleet. This is the fourth time a U.S. warship has entered the Black Sea this year. The important point is that though the ships of Arleigh Burke class, like USS Ross, have displacement which is far lower than the stipulated 15,000 tons limit, but they still possess massive firepower. Russian Navy is stretched due to economic slowdown in Russia and monitoring or intercepting U.S. warship in the Black Sea takes away valuable resources. The increasing U.S. activities have led many Russian analysts to question the Montreux Convention in current form and have advocated new restrictions on warships. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting. And kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.